What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today what we're gonna be messing around with is my new set of wheels and tires that I got for my 2020. I've been um, looking around for a while for a couple different sets of wheels. I'm getting out of hand. I have way too many at this point in time, but I went ahead and ordered a set of 26s and they finally showed up. Now I don't have the tires mounted up to the wheels yet. Today what I'm just gonna be doing is messing around with the front end to make sure it's all in check. I've been getting like a weird vibration. I'm sure it's from these big wheels and tires taking a toll on my front end. So what I'm gonna be doing today is, you know, jacking it up, taking a look at the front end, see if there's any worn components, and then putting my new wheels on to see how much turn I'm gonna have because this new set of wheels is a set of 26s. I've been going back and forth between the 24 and 26 idea for a little bit now. Um, I love the way the 24s look, but on this new style body of the 2020s, they just absolutely shrink 24s. These 24s look relatively small on this, in my opinion, in my opinion. So we mount the 26s up and see how much turn radius we'll have. I'm not sure if I'll stick to them permanently, just because I'm not sure how much turn I'll actually have. I'm a big fan of these, because honestly I have full crank lock to lock with these ones. But um, my new tires, I had to bump up from a, these are a 305, which is hair below a 33. 30535R24s and I had to bump up to a 35 because with 26s there's only like a certain select amount of tires you can go with and I'm a big um, believer in you know the tread design makes the look of a truck like if you have cheap tires on here I just don't like the way those look I think that kind of makes or breaks the way the truck looks that's the first thing you see here the tires and like I said I'm kind of limited on options but I found a good set that I think is going to be nice, so let's go ahead, we'll get off the 24, we'll jack it up first, you know, check for some wear and tear, and then we'll mount up the 26s and see how they're going to look. I got the new tires wheeled over here, these are the Venom Power tires, this is a 35, 14, 50, 26. These kind of look like the Nitto Ridge Grapplers, I'm a big fan of the way the Nitto tires look, but just for difference, as you can see, this is really going to fill up the fender well down here. Um, I wasn't a fan of the Open Country Hunter MTs, I believe they're called, the other design. The one that Venom really first came out with. These came out, and I'm really a fan of them. And like I said, when you go up to a 26, there's only like a certain select few different tire brands that actually make tires for these. And the good part is, this new set of wheels that you'll see here in a second, they're actually black. And I wanted to get some a little bit wider so I wouldn't curb them or nick them because with black, you just can't polish them out and sand them out. It's a huge different process. So these are a 1450, so I'll have a little bit of overhang when I get them mounted up. But for now, let's go ahead, jack up the front end, see if there's any play in here. And then we'll take off the 24. And then I'll bring over my wheel, which is 26. And we'll throw it on and see how it's going to look. Okay, so we got it jacked up here, and it does have a little bit more play in it than I was expecting. As you can see, there's no up or down play, but side to side play, there's a decent amount, as you can see. I'm going to try to do it right now. The tie rods look good. I think it's just the idle arm shot, but I do have the kryptonite death grip tie rods that are going to be going on here in a couple weeks. But now it looks like I'm going to have to order the idle arm and pitman arm. I'm probably going to go with Kryptonite. They do have a lifetime warranty, which is nice, since I'm always going to be running big wheels and tires. That stuff does take a toll on your front end. I was expecting some play, but that looks like it's totally shot, and that makes sense now why I have some type of vibration. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this off, and we'll mount up the 26s. Just going to go ahead here real quick and bust off my lug nuts. As you can see how big my adapter is to get these off. I'm gonna go ahead real quick, blast all these off, and we'll pull off the old Special Z Forged. Got those pulled off, and as you can see, like these still have like over half shred on them. It's just the outer edges were weird. I knew that was like a thing, getting into wider wheels and tires. No one around me really had a machine to be able to mount them with the 24s. So I did it on stocks, and it wasn't an issue for a while, but there is still a decent amount of tread, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and jump these tires for the new ones. But let me go ahead here now. Jack this up a little bit more because these 26s are a hair bigger. And then we'll get them thrown on. I'm going to try to show us a little bit better now that I got the um, wheel off. As you can see, all the play in the idle arm there. Definitely going to have to go ahead and order some kryptonite stuff to beef up this front end. Because I do plan on running the big wheels and tires forever. But other than that, underneath here looks pretty good. Brake pads still look good. 
Does anyone else have the squeaky brake cell with the 2020s? They drive me absolutely nuts. I heard of some people going back to the dealer and um, they put new pads on there, but they still squeak. It drives me absolutely insane, but other than that, looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get the uh, 26 thrown on. So here they are. These are my brand new 26 by 14 Ford Giotto wheels. Don't even ask me how long you have to wait to get a new set of Ford Giottos. They take forever. But um, right now, I kind of just want to get them mounted up on the truck, get them mounted on the tires, and see how they're going to look. I do have some plans to get these powder coated. I already have some billet floater caps on the way from Cap King again. And my buddy already ceramic coated these with IGL Kenzo, which is the same coating that's on my truck. To just keep up on the maintenance. You can't really ceramic coat polished wheels. There's a long backstory behind that and why you can't do some research on it to figure it out. But I guess they're porous and the ceramic coating doesn't really last. And you don't get the shine out of it like you do on black material. But I'm going to go ahead here right now, get it thrown up on there. So they got them thrown on. I'm sitting here thinking, why didn't I do 26s way sooner? These things really fill out the wheel wells a lot more than the 24s did. The only thing I'm getting really kind of concerned about now is turning. I had full lock to lock turn with 24s, like I said. But with these, the valence and the cab's gonna be a problem. I was rubbing slightly. If I took a turn like super fast, I did rub here a hair. The last thing I wanna do is cut my cab. I'm not a fan of that and I won't be doing that. Like I said, I kinda just wanna get these mounted up for now and see what I'm dealing with. I was really hoping to have them mounted up this week for this video, but this week being Christmas and everything like that, a lot of people were closed and the guy that normally does my wheels wasn't around this week. So hopefully next Monday or Tuesday, I will get these mounted up and thrown on for next week's video. Really curious on how they're going to look. And once I get some billet floaters for this thing, it's really going to send them off super nicely. And the final thing that I wanted to talk about in this video was if you guys do plan on running wider wheels and tires, like a 24 by 14s, budget in a built front end at some point. You can do some research on there. It's not cheap by any means. It's probably gonna be about three grand to build my front end. I was thinking I wasn't gonna have to do it at some point, but I wasn't thinking, you know, within 20,000 miles I'd have to do it. I was thinking maybe like 30 to 40,000, but it probably had to be done a lot sooner looking at the plane there. But like I said, if you do plan on running wider wheels and tires, definitely budget in a built front end because you are gonna need it 100%. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to go over my new 26s. I've had these for a little bit of time now and I've just been so busy I didn't get a chance to show you guys and I really wanted to get them thrown on here to see what they're going to look like. But stay tuned to next week when we get all four mounted up on the truck and we'll see how much turn we're going to have. I hope I have more than three quarters turn but I think I'm being really optimistic. But if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe. If you like this video be sure to leave it a big thumbs up but until next time I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Stop this conversation.